Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Second. Let's just continue. So first thing we're going to do is, I see a little fox, so we can have a little cutscene here. So I know it's going to be a little bit of a boring start to the episode, but... That was but... so good. I'm stuffed. Magnolia, you've really become an amazing chef. Tell me about it. I really look forward to the days when you're on kitchen duty. Vraiment? You're too kind. Now, wait right there while I get dessert. Dessert, too? This is a treat. Ow, 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 ow! What's wrong, you? Uh, my muscles. Uh, oh, they're cramping up! Ow! You remember, don't you, Magnolia? His little problem. Oh, me! You're terrified of ghosts! A real scaredy cat! Well, hey, but they're the only thing I'm scared of, remember? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, your only fear. You've been hunched over in terror since we got here. Your muscles are bound to feel the strain. But, Idia, you don't like ghosts either. You said so. Who does? But they don't make me completely lock up in terror like you. Anyway, I think I'm going to get some fresh air. Wait, where are you going? Just getting in a little exercise. Gotta make room for dessert. I really admire her commitment. To dessert, I mean. Indeed. Braving these pitch-black corridors and narrow stairs, with the evil spirits lurking around every corner. So, what's the story with this keep anyway? Well, it all goes back to... What is that, Idia? What's she doing? Idia? Are you all right out there? Yep, I was just taking some practice swings and, uh, hit the wall by mistake. That must have been some swing if we heard it all the way in here. Hey, did you hear that? It sounded like small bits of debris coming down from the ceiling. <sighs> you know, these walls are really fragile. I mean, <clears throat> I barely touched this one. I think we should just knock through the walls instead of following the passageways. I don't think that's practical. They're way too thick for that. She probably just knocked some plaster off the surface. <laughs> that's all. In any case, Idia, please stop hitting the walls. Huh? What's this about walls? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it tastes amazing. Mmm. Oh, oh, you really topped yourself this time. Mmm. Really? Merci beaucoup. What? Hey, when did... How did he... Two seconds before it was ready, she just appeared next to me, spoon in hand. Like... A ghost? You know, I'm still hearing a lot of falling debris. Uh... Mm -mm, did you taste this, everyone? Mm. This is to die for. Well, one of them's a ghost. Either the one outside, or the one eating the cake. One of them's a ghost. Anyway, um, now that I think about it, hold up. Oh, okay. Well, I have to do a little bit of running. I think I have to go back over here. So. Ah, we've found it at last! With this, the ultimate magic is... Ominous Crow, partner to Bahamut and holder of the Black Mage Asterisk. Formerly a Lieutenant Commander of the Eternian Sky Knights. He bears an enduring grudge against women. His explosive personality wins him few friends among his comrades, but none would deny his skill with fire magic. By what strange trick of fate do your paths cross anew? Ding dong! Delivery for Ominous Crow! 
Good grief, you'd better be grateful for this. Oh, 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 oh! Latin! <sighs> An earthquake! It's a big one! Muscles are no match for this. You know, I think most people would realize that without even trying. Tiz, you're all right. No good, sir. There's no sign of an exit on this side either. You and Magnolia. Oh, what a relief. I wouldn't get too relieved. It would seem we're trapped. Trapped? What about the others? They're fine. Ominous and his party are resting just over there. I see. Well, first things first. Let's deliver the food we brought. About that, Idia. We were thinking it might be better to keep quiet about the food for now. I have to agree, sir. We split up to search for a way out, but there was none to be found. We can hope the townspeople will send a rescue party, but that won't happen until they realize we've gone missing. We may want to hold on to that extra food until we really need it. Ominous and Bahamut aren't likely to be that patient. Not to mention Artemia. All right. We'll keep it a secret for now. Come on, you. Help me hide it. Okay. Let's see. What do these guys say? Um, okay. Anything interesting in here doesn't look like it. And then... Okay, let's see what this guy has to say. Right, I guess we have no other choice. Let's go ahead and talk to Ominous here. Ominous unfair. Not fit for leadership. Artemia not follow. Artemia Venus. The Wild Wolf. Holder of the Ranger Asterisk. Youngest of the Venus Sisters. And formerly of the Bloodrose Legion with whom Idia and her allies did battle. Be not fooled by her cuddly appearance, for this soft exterior hides a fierce heart that sings most keenly when battling to the death. By what strange trick of fate do your paths cross anew? What did you say? Why, you impertinent little... Food should be shared, equal, fair. Why should I have to share m m my food with a hired help? Ah! Don't you worry, Muhammad. I'll make sure enough is set aside for you, too. Muhammad more understanding than ominous. Food must share. What are you two bickering about? Who? Idia! What are y y you doing here? Delivering your garbage. Says right here. Foodstuffs for the Ominous Party. Idia have new job? Grand Marshal's daughter delivery girl? Lux and Dark Economy very harsh. I'm not a... Ugh! This is just a favor I'm doing for someone. Um, I'm... I'm sorry to interrupt, but... Did something happen to my dad? Oh. You must be the delivery man's son. Alavash, that's quite the family resemblance. I'm Jambalai. Master Ominous hired me in Unohana. Same for me. My name's Risotto. I'm Paella. Please, tell us what happened to Jambalai's father. We've known him since we were all kids. Uh, just a little accident. A sprained ankle has him out of commission, so we came to make his delivery. <sighs> that's all, is it? Yep, he's fine. No need to worry. In fact, we're supposed to contact him with any additional orders when we get back, so... I'm sure when we don't show up, he'll realize something's happened and send help. That's true. We can count on my dad. You... you said you weren't here to deliver some f f food right? Well, hand it over. Finally, a decent meal. 
Ominous eat too much. Not fair. Every meal, he always serves himself and that Dagon there, Bahamut, more than any of the rest of us. He barely leaves a mouthful for us and Miss Artemia. Didn't I tell you to hand over the f food? Hurry it up! I'm s starving here! Seems it's like I know who I want to kill. I thought it might be. We'd better keep quiet about that food for a little while yet. Yes, and it seems they've all eaten recently. Even if it wasn't that much. Uh, <clears throat> oh, <laughs> about that. You see, Ominous, the food we brought got buried under the rubble. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it, what? D didn't you come here to deliver food? What kind of delivery girl are you? Of all the miserable... <laughs> You're just as useless as the day we met. Oh, Murkirker. You're welcome to the food we have left, though there's not much. Thank you. The offer alone is more than enough. Everyone must be worn out. Why don't we all just call it a night? Uh, uh, I'm in charge around here! I say when we call it a night, not you! Yes, yes, of course, Master Ominous, sir. Won't you consider turning in for the night? Don't you take that attitude with me? No one is to rest until I say... <laughs> all right. Do we all sleep now? Yeah, it looks like I already know which person I'm going to kill here. Obviously, Ominous. He's being kind of a wienerhead, not gonna lie. <gasps> Another cave-in? Having trouble sleeping? Mm, yeah. And I've just been thinking. Like you said, it looks like the food we hid is going to end up being very important. Artemia said that any food ought to be split evenly among everyone here. But it seems Ominous is taking the lion's share for him and his pet. He's never been a great leader, but I'd hope at least... Well, he is the one funding this expedition and everything. I know that, but still... At this rate, those two will probably end up at each other's throats, and soon. And when that happens... It's getting cold. Come on, let's try to get some sleep. Yeah. Good night, Tiz. Oh, we're going to be spending a couple days in here then. Okay. I didn't realize that. Keep trying, Muhammad. You're nearly there. What was that noise just now? Ominous, what are you doing? Idiot! Are you blind? Any idiot could see we're training. Look, we don't know if anyone will ever come for us. Bahamut mastering the ultimate monster m m magic might be our only chance of getting out of here. The ultimate monster magic? <laughs> getting tired, little buddy. Why don't you get yourself some rest? Looks like a crash course isn't gonna cut it. Hey, you grunts! It's time to eat! Chop, chop! Uh, uh, of course, Master Ominous. Right away. Is this a joke? What are these scraps? B but we're almost out of supplies. If we don't ration ourselves... How many times do I have to say it? Bahamut is to be kept happy and full. What part of that can't you understand? Hand over your shares, too. Come on! Hey, don't you give me that look! Ominous tyrant. Poor Bahamut. Bad master. <laughs> Everyone have life. 
all life equal. E equal you say? Don't be ridiculous. Nothing could be further from the truth. If someone is to survive, it should be the most skilled, the most able, the ones the world needs most. He's not it then, bud. That's all I'm saying. Hey, don't give our food to Idia and her slacker friends too. They're not even working for us. But, but sir. No, it's fine. He's right. Don't worry about us. Yes, we'll manage. Eat this. Artemia share hers. Thanks, Artemia. I'd be honored to share with you. Please, have some of mine, too. And mine. Fools! Ah, do whatever you want! Just don't come groveling to me when you're hungry later! Bahamut and I won't be sharing. Hmm. It looks like there's only enough left for one more meal. Indeed. We can hold out for a couple of days. But if a rescue party doesn't come soon... Wow, look at you, Bahamut! You've licked your entire plate clean! <laughs> <laughs> no one will deny that you're a cute one, Bahamut. Hey, Ominous. What was that ultimate monster magic you were talking about? What? Why should I have to tell you anything? Gosh, Is it true it's an ace in the hole for going up against a ball? More or less. Not that you have any right to ask. We've traveled all over and never heard of such a thing. What's the name of this spell? Femto. Huh? Femto? Femto Flare. The ultimate monster magic. Femto Flare! When the Grand Marshal assigned us to those silly teens, I got stuck with that strange old man. He's the one who said I might be able to re release the power of Femto. And if you can, it might get us out of here. So how do you use it? Hey, idiot! You think it's that easy? We're talking about... about ultimate magic here! I was afraid you were gonna say that. Ah, talking to you is just making me hungrier. <gasps> Shake coming! Big one! Ah! No more shake for now. Chance to rest. <sighs> Thanks, Artemia. You're on a whole nother level, as usual. How do you sense these things? Hmm... You don't know yourself? I see. Speaking of which, why did you become Ominous's bodyguard? Get Ominous great magic. Get Ominous stronger and stronger. Ah, you wanted to test yourself against Ominous at his strongest, huh? Oh, Idia, read mind. True girl power, respect. <laughs> Nope, you haven't changed a bit. Or... maybe a little. Ominous's assistants are really fond of you. They look up to you more than Ominous, it seems. Them honest. They sure are. Them all from Yunohana. Yunohana parents take care of Artemia. Artemia owe much. Miss Artemia? Do you really think we'll get out of here alive? Artemia not know. Don't you worry, Risotto. My dad's on his way right now. I'm sure of it. He must be headed here with an enormous rescue party even as we speak. Why, any hour now. Exactly. Try to keep your chin up. I... I will. You Artemia's. Artemia protect Artemia's own. Right. We've been through worse, but for these poor kids, this is as rough as it gets. I'm afraid so. Okay. No exit, no escape. Hmm? 
What do you want? Calling it a day already? Ah, I'm starved. We still had some food left, right? Muhammad ate the last of what we had. Well, what are you looking at me like that for? Listen up, you, you ingrates. I'm saying this for the last time. I'm the one paying your wages here, and Muhammad is my trusty partner. He's the second most important member of this expedition. Perhaps even the, 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 the most important. Burr? <sighs> no understand. Give it a break, Ominous. Yelling is only gonna make you hungrier. You're one to talk, idiot! You're the one who went and lost our extra food! Yes, Master Ominous, it's all my fault. Forgive me for even breathing. As much as I'd love to stay awake and get yelled at some more, I'm gonna hit the sack. Night-night! Wait! Don't you dare! <sighs> Hey, you awake? Yeah. Looks like we can't hold out much longer, huh? You agree with Artemia about the food, don't you, Idia? Unless... Unless it's true. About Femtoflare. Right. Magic that can stop a ball? It's intriguing, but from Ominous... D'accord. I must say that I'm intrigued. Magnolia, you're awake too? And you? Yes, I'm also awake and equally interested. I know it sounds good, but with the situation being what it is... Maybe we should just get some sleep. Yeah. I had two days. Second day. And we already got no food already, so this ain't good. So hungry. <laughs> Don't eat my hood! Are you serious? It's all covered in slobber. Morning. Ooh, looks like your day's off to a rough start, Ominous. And I got you to thank for it! If only you hadn't lost that food! That again? You know, no one likes a nag. <laughs> nag? Undisciplined? No one like Ominous. Um, Master Ominous, I'm afraid that we finally reached the end of our food stores. So this watery gruel is the last thing I'll ever t t taste? Ugh. And what do you think you're doing serving yourselves, huh? You should be giving every scrap you have to Muhammad. <sighs> That's it. I can't... I can't take any more of this. Unfair, narrow-minded, cowardly, incompetent. Ominous never learn. Hmm. And neither do you. Always going on about how people are equal. How life should be fair. B -b 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 balderdash Will this do, Master Ominous? It's the last we have. Then hand it here! Muhammad, come here, fella! I've got your brekkie -br -br right here! Come on, Muhammad! Brrr. What are you waiting for? Go on, eat! <laughs> What's wrong with you, Muhammad? Ominous, give it a rest. Even Bahamut is feeling guilty. You... you don't understand anything. 
Femto Flare is the ultimate monster magic. We have no hope of using it without Bahamut. You mean that's why you wanted him to have all that food? But even if Bahamut survives, what good will that do if no one else does? You really... you really don't understand anything, do you? You think I just want to get me and my buddy out of this place? All I want is for Bahamut to master Femto Flare and live through this disaster. That's all that matters! You know what damage that ball has done to our world already, don't you? It destroyed the entire western half of Eternia! Whole seas dried up! Mountains gouged out of the land! If we are to defeat that ball before it destroys our entire world, we need Bahamut and Femto Flare! If I can just help Bahamut master Femto Flare, I know he'll defeat the ball for us, even if I'm long since gone. You think I enjoy this? Well, I don't! But I'll sacrifice everyone here if I need to, even myself! Ah! I understand, Master Alminus. I've seen you give your own portions to Bahamut day after day. What? I know you wake up earlier than anyone to keep practicing the spell. You must be hungriest of all, yet... Ominous. You've really been doing all that? Tell us more about this Femto Flare. Hmm. Even if I t told you, you wouldn't understand. Why can't we? Give us a chance, at least. Tell us what you're stuck on. Maybe we can help. By unraveling the incantational bonds of a jaw class spell and refining it to its purest form through extensive tr tr training, it should become possible for a familiar of the same elemental persuasion to master the ultimate monster magic, in theory. So it's not just a matter of practice, but teaching it to Bahamut in the first place? Sounds almost impossible. As it should. They don't call it ultimate magic for nothing. I assume the first step is learning the highest fire type spell, Fireja. Is that right? Yes, that's already out of the way. Really? Ominous, you can use Faraja? You... you really are always looking down on me, aren't you? You cheeky little... Listen. In order to use the ultimate monster magic Femto Flare, I have to first release the incantational bonds on Faraja. With enough training, it can then be acquired by a magical familiar, like Bahamut, as the ultimate form of monster magic. I have to quickly break the limits on Faraja. Then two, no, no, maybe three days of non-stop training. No sleep, no rest. But even if Bahamut masters the spell, the question then becomes whether he'll still have the stamina to use it. If we just had a bit more food, it would buy us enough time to save everyone. And now you know what I'm up against. So, shoo, let me work in peace. It takes more strength and focus than you can possibly imagine to unravel a spell like Faraja on the incantational level. You mean you've already started? Hmm. I started the day we got trapped. I've managed to break through everything up to the fourth level. Just one more to go. What was it the old man said? The king of all summons meets his match with the Giga Class Flare, while fey demons can even reach Zeta. Magical familiars are usually limited to the Pico Class, but with the help of their human masters, this can be refined further. The ultimate monster magic, Femto Flare! We're nearly there, Bahamut! Nearly there! <laughs> uh, I'm still gonna go with our teammate. Can we lay off the murderous rage a bit? Look, even your poor assistants are scared of you. I know Ominous is always setting you off. And now, that ultimate magic of his, Femto Flare. Is that what's tickling your killer instinct? <sighs> Idia read mine too much. Like sister. Idia never get married. <sighs> Lay off, will ya? <sighs> never mind, Idia. But Ominous not fit to lead. 
I know. It seems like even Bahamut notices other people's feelings more than Ominous does. Artemia, aren't you getting hungry? Artemia, disciplined. Hunger, nothing. Uh, yeah, I'm hungry too. Artemia, Odette. Parents of these three help Artemia. Treat Artemia good. Ask Artemia protect children. Artemia made promise. Protect no matter what. Idia, all life equal. Leader, bodyguard, helper, all same. Life, all equal. Human, Dagon, Frosty, all same. Grand Marshal, Pope, Sister, Idia, all equal. Yeah, we are. And I agree. I agree with that statement. Oh! Someone! Come quickly! It's Risotto! He started trembling! And feel this! He's burning up! Idiot! Move! <sighs> Injury somewhere. Wound faster! Check his foot! He said he stepped on something the other day! Ah! It's so swollen! Call for drastic measures. Hold arms and legs! Is she gonna amputate the foot? Artemia removed pus. Drink this. Stop infection. One foot in grave. We'll make sure he drinks every drop! Huh? Ah, uh, Bahamut! No, that's... Hey, don't worry. It took three of us to move that huge rock. Oh. Ah! Baha! 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 found the food. No, no, Bahamut! That's not for you! Baha? Hand it to Auntie Idia, okay? Uh -huh. Idia! What's the meaning of this? That's my... Ominous, wait. I can explain. Idia, hid food? Artemia, I'm sorry. It was my idea. With everyone fighting over food, I thought we should set it aside until we really needed it. And I agreed. Please understand. Never mind any of that. The, the, the good news is that there's food! Artemia, understand. Now we share food. Artemia, glad. What do you mean, share? Look how little there is! How do you plan to share that? What say, Ominous? Foolish girl! Have you not been listening to a word I've said? If Bahamut can master the anti-ballistic Fento Flare, he will be the world's greatest hope! Got it? We need to focus on helping Bahamut in his training! Then we have to ensure that he gets out of here alive! That is all that matters! That food has to be used for Bahamut's survival and mine. Ominous! Artemia say again and again, all like equal. Leader, bodyguard, slacker, all equal. Human, Dagon, all same. Any life can save world. M my father and the other townspeople. I'm sure they're coming to rescue us. Shut your mouth, Lackey. Unless you insist on proving how stupid you truly are. Even if your father realizes something's wrong, how many days do you think it will take to form a search party and find us? And even if they find us, how many more days will it take to clear a way for us to get out? I guess... I never... You never thought. Yes, that's obvious enough. Idia, hand the food over to me! Idia, all life equal. Must share food equally. If we split the food up evenly, like Artemia says... There won't be much to go around. 
Even with careful rationing, it won't last more than two or three days. That's all? And if Ominous is to succeed in teaching Bahamut Femto Flare... It might take three days, or longer. There's no way to know. Nor do we know if anyone's coming for us. Oh, what should I do? We all deserve to survive. So does that mean I should do as Artemia says and divide the food evenly? Or is it more important for the world that Bahamut survives? Meaning I should give the food to Ominous? They both seem deadly serious. Take care, Idia. Whichever choice you make, I have a feeling we'll be facing stiff opposition from the losing party. This is no easy choice. What should I do? Okay, everybody. So I know what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to agree with Artemia. Now here is, I'm just going to very quickly explain my reasoning. Probably y'all don't care, but I'm recording the video, so I don't care either. Um, I think if I knew for a fact that uh, the Femto Flare can be learned in two days, for a fact it can, I would give all the food to Bahamut because, once again, I'm all about the greater good. If I can save a couple million people from the ball and let seven die here, I 100% every time pick Bahamut to save the world. But here's a couple things. We don't know if he'll learn it. We don't know if he'll even be able to defeat the ball once that's done. None of that is known. And I know for a fact, me and my party here could probably do it. Not if we're dead. So I think in this case, it's better to take the gamble on us living a couple more days for them to come than gambling on him learning Femto Flare, which could possibly not even work. Um, that's just my reason. So again, if we could 100% learn Femto Flare, I would give it. But it's not the case. We don't know. I think it's a smaller chance of him learning Femto Flare than us even getting rescued. So I'm going to go ahead and fight Ob Ominous. But I'm actually not going to do it this episode. I think we're already running a little far. Um, so guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like and comment as well as the channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.